Transformers 1 made Starscream a masochist. Or whatever the title is, I don't know. I kind of just want to take this and like basically just explain my point why I'm frustrated with TF1 and how they handled Starscream in it. Because it just, it, it's my one nitpick and it infuriates me, so I just have to get it out here. What were they doing with Starscream? Okay, like, so for like, obviously, I guess spoilers at this point, if it need be said, but like Starscream, so obviously his introduction comes for when, obviously, they wrap up with Alpha Trion, they get boomed, they get tased, or whatever, knocked out, then they get brought to the layer of High God, let's go. They, they were super cool in the movie, by the way, which I, w I will go into depth on. But it's like, they were super cool. That's how they get introduced, they get captured, and then they get brought before... I guess, well, Starscream, obviously, Soundwave, and Shockwave, which look all super cool, by the way. Their introduction was a uh, finesse, finesse. But, like, Starscream, obviously, he's leading the High Guard, right? Now, that's super sick, right? He has Shockwave and Soundwave under his command, right? That's n that is, like, really cool to see, right? And Starscream being in that position, right? This is not something we ever get to see out of Starscream in media. This is why it was, I was so interested in the movie specifically for like Starscream's key point as being like seeing that, that initial scene where you see him and then he steps up, like controls the room with absolute confidence and domination and then steps to Megatron. Again, this, this is what pisses me off. Megatron just like steps to him and then Starscream basically like plays off him and basically just mocks him for it. Then he gets him to fight him and then Starscream like lets him like basically just wants him to like choke him. It's really weird. I don't, I don't understand that at all. And then like I, I, I get it from the point of growth for Megatron, but it's so fast. And then Starscream basically loses his entire like leadership position there within the matter of 10 seconds. Like, would you not have wanted to have seen him like he was getting choked out and he wanted Megatron to do more and more, like hit him over and over again and choke him more? But it's like, wouldn't you want to see then Starscream, like, whack Megatron one? Or, like, I guess D16 at this point in the story, right? Just whack him one and show him his true place and then truly flesh out, like, Starscream's leadership capabilities. Because remember, he's the leader of the High Guard. D16 has only just gotten his T-Cog from being a miner this entire time. I know Megatron's meant to be, like, how he progresses his character. But at this point in the story, it's like, he only just got it. And he was only just turning, like, his character arc was just turning to that point, right? It's like, really, you want, like, it, obviously, like, the movie does not flesh out, like, the High Guard and Starscream specifically too much. It does flesh them out to the point where, obviously, they were, like, you know, to the to the primes and stuff like that. They were, like, the high-end military guard. Right? That, that's why they're called the High Guard, right? Like, super high-end combat, stuff like that. And, obviously, B does some exposition. But it's, like, like, D16 just casually whips Starscream, who's, like, been leading them and has been, like... Boy, it seemed way too fast to me, man. Like, can you call it nitpicky all you want? And may maybe it's because I'm, like, biased. Like, I want to see Starscream. I want to see that high guard truly fleshed out. You can say... And look, I'm not complaining. It's probably budget, right? Budget was probably the constraint. It's the same reason we never got to see, like, D16 in, like, the pits and the fight pits and stuff like that. They said that was budget. So maybe this is the same reason. But nonetheless, it still pisses me off. So that's my reasoning and i don't care it it annoys me that starscream basically got like shafted and basically like fucked over let's let's be real his character basically got fucked over because now we will never get to see that from him again we'll never get to see him in that position of power and confidence he's now going to be relegated to just simping to megatron or like trying to be like his traitorous rat self right that we see from like every piece of media ever so so the one interesting key point we could have got from his like because because you him being in that like dominant position that gives like credence and like underlying reasoning to why he has that like ego and why he wants to run the decepticons and stuff like that for his future character and in, in, in this continuity right that that would it, it's going to ruin that in the long run it, it, at least looking from like my perspective I'm like it doesn't make it's just ugh, like Again, like, I'm biased. I wanted to see his character further fleshed out. And I know there's a lot of other characters that didn't get fleshed out. I know it's meant to be just D16 Optimus' rise and stuff like that. But it's like, man, dude, it ruins it, man. Because it's like, his character arc, it, it, it could have been so good that we'd never get to, we never get to see that experience, man. Like, that sentiment point. Like, even in, like, the War for Cybertron game when we first see him, like, at least we get to see him command his fucking, like, station and stuff like that for, like, a little bit. And you get some cool exposition right and even then he kind of turns pretty quickly 
Again, maybe it's because the, the game is longer, so you get a little bit more exhibition, stuff like that. But it's like, oh man, I really wanted to see it, bro. I really wanted to see him in, like, in that powerful ego position. And like truly like one up Megatron. Because at this point in the story, I feel like he would have. Like he's been living out there, like keeping them safe against like the Quintessons and like Sentinel and like all of them. Like he hasn't been doing a bad job. And remember, he's had Soundwave and Shockwave by his side willingly advising him and stuff like that. It doesn't make any sense to why Megatron like or D16 just comes along, whips him within 10 seconds, and then everyone turns. I get the sentiment turn point, right? Why they would latch onto him, because Starscream's speech about like one bot being like powerful over another and stuff like that. But it's like at, at, at that point, it should be Starscream. It shouldn't have been D16 turned so quickly. It's one nitpick I've had with the movie. I don't know if like I've said in other videos at this point, but it's like the, the movie has such a it's kind of a slow build up towards the start and towards the end after the Alpha Triumph bit, it speeds up. And that's probably my key point is it speeds up after the Alpha Triumph bit. So it speeds up through this section with Starscream. It annoys me because it, he basically gets glossed over realistically. I, I know the, the the budget, whatever. I know it's meant to be D16 Prime. Like I know I've said that. I literally just said that. It's like, it still annoys me nonetheless because he could have been fleshed out so much better. And I feel like, again, he, he should have been... He should have been like he was the lead of the high guard he should have been whipping d16's ass at that point in the story like he has so much more combat experience than him like like bro d, like d16 just got his t-cog how, how is he whipping his like ass so easily within like the matter of 10 seconds i know he was of summons his like arm cannon and stuff like that but still starscream has been like leading the the high guard and has been in combat for like decades longer i don't know what the difference between a cycle and a year is so off the, off the top of my head but even so his combat experience far outweighs megatron don't get it twisted and unless you want to like again because like the the fight pit scene with like d16 and stuff like that wasn't included so it depends on how you want to like implement i, I guess like cancelled in features with law stuff like, again if we're just taking the movie for how it came out being d16 did not have that so you can kind of discount that if you will and uh, again like uh, whatever you, you can kind of include it like, let's just look at it for what it is right now it's like it wasn't in there so like d16 just like got his t-call back summoned his arm cannon and like whipped starscream into like his little like like what it doesn't make any sense bro i don't it, okay i it doesn't make sense from the storyline perspective of like d16 and stuff like that but i i'm just annoyed the fact that starscream got shafted and that's kind of the entire video i'm just pissed that starscream got fucked over basically you can say i'm whining all you want i don't care i I wanted to see starscream more and it's like i want to see like soundwave and shockwave too but like their characters they they don't need they they don't have the same crux issue point that like starscream does it doesn't make any sense because he he's now again like I, I said it before he's now just going to be turned into like the sniveling little rat traitor but it's like you have no understanding or build up to why he, his entire like underlying ego point is now that you just knew that he did run the high guard but we've never got to see that and the only thing i could think of is that how they could retcon fix this is if, if we do get another movie and it is like based on like war for cybertron or that great war or that era type thing however they want to do it following that the only thing I can think that is bringing Starscream in a flashback to, and then we get to see flashback of the time, right? Because if, if they bring up like why Starscream is being traitorous and stuff like that, you could have a flashback in his ego and stuff like that and it bring back to when he was running the High Guard and stuff like that and when he was with like the 13 Primes and stuff. That's the only way I could think of doing it. Yeah, it sucks so much more because you could have... Oh, I know it's like budget, man. I know it's like budget that's basically fucked this over, but it's like you, you, they could have done more with D16 and Starscream. Then just this weird little like masochistic thing where he was choking him and telling him to hit him. It, it, it just went so fast, man. I don't know. It just pissed me off. It just pissed me off. Maybe that's just me, but like, oh no. Starscream is like one of my favorite characters. And it's like seeing that pivotal error point where we never get to see it, basically. Like, we just don't. It's just annoying. Like, outside of like the comics and stuff like that, where we get to see his personality well and truly explored, we never get to see it in media. And he is like a mainstay character. I think it pisses me off more because like Bumblebee on the Autobot side gets like, I, I know like Bumblebee is the Pikachu of the TF like world, but it's like he gets to explored. But then Starscream, which is the equivalent on the Decepticon side, you can argue that all you want, but it's like 
for me, it's like Starscream on the Decepticon side is like the equivalent of Bumblebee on the Ultraport side. He never gets explored. He basically gets shafted in all of our media, bar like comics and like some of the, some of the games arc. Like it, War and Fall of Cybertron did give him some stuff, which I thought was really cool. Like I liked his coronation in Fall. I liked the fact that we get to see a lot of exposition and dialogue out of War for Cybertron for him. It's just like, I, I, I don't know, maybe, again, I'm like kind of biased. I just want to see his character explore, and I'm just like really frustrated that it didn't. And I feel like now the only way to fix it is with retcon, like, in a next movie, hoping that they would like, instead of just, like, what I mean by retcon is instead of just straight up to ignoring and just carrying his character forward and just adding in the traitor part, right, and, and like the devious part, I, I I want them to, like, the only way I can think of is like doing flashbacks or something because it doesn't make any sense. The only way I could think of it is like he still holds a position in front of like the Seekers and the High Guard. But it looks like they've just, like at the end of TF1, it's just like they follow Megatron anyway at that point. So it's like they don't seem, I, like, I don't know. Like, and that's like because you can't just have, especially now with like Megatron having like obviously Megatronus's T Cog and him turning into Megatron and forming the Decepticons and stuff like that. So you can't have Starscream now go whoop Megatron's ass after the fact, right? Like, you could, but it makes so little sense to... If if Starscream couldn't whip his form and he was D16, he's not going to be able to whip his ass in, like, Megatron form. I, I don't know, man. I'm just kind of annoyed. I'm, I'm just frustrated at this point. It's my one nitpick with the movie that I just don't... It's not that I don't like it. It's just I'm pissed that it... No, I just don't like him, man. Like, why Why do you get fucked over so bad, bro? Like, he looks so cool on the chair, man, when he, when he whipped around, and it's like, he had, he had the fat ego, bro. And then it's just like, oh, D16 choke me, and it's just like, bro. Then, and then it's over. And then I, I like the fact that when he gets, like, choked, he kind of, like, screws with his voice box, and then he sounds more like the traditional Starscream wiener. Uh, cool nod, cool nod. It's like, man, oh, oh no, bro, that was too fast. Like, I'm probably gonna get hate for this just because like everyone's like gassing the movie up. But like, that is a that is a nitpick point that I really don't like, and I'll, I'll I don't care. I'll defend to the end of the earth. It's, he should have gotten more screen time or something. Again, I know it's budget, blah blah. I know, but it still does not discount the point that it pisses me off that he got basically fucked over, and now we'll probably never get to see it. That's that that's my point. Why I'm so mm, I'm so mad about it, bro. Because now we're never going to get to see that point from him unless it comes back through a fucking shitty flashback scene or some shit. Because it's like, like unless you want to introduce like Thundercracker and Skywarp and do that like traditional thing where like they kind of follow him regardless, right? Unless you want to do like a like a link in with like some of the high guard like that where they just constantly follow him. But it's like at this point in the movie, it's set up where it's not it's not Thundercracker or Skywarp. It's like he has he has Soundwave and Shockwave by his side, and they they're now just going to like. They're now, now with Megatron, they're not gonna like stick with Starscream. See, that's that's the only other line I could think of is that they they flesh out the the seeker portion of the High Guard with like with like him, Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp, and how they follow him regardless of Megatron and stuff like that. That's the only thing I can think of. But it's like it's still it's it's not the same as Starscream controlling the entirety of the High Guard, bro. Oh no! Oh no! It annoys me thinking about it. I mean, maybe that's just me. You guys let me know in the comments below, I guess. What are your thoughts on this? It's just... Oh, no. I, I had to vent it, bro. I had to vent it. Like, it's, it, it's just infuriating to me that that got, like, f***ed over, basically. For, for like... Ugh, for, like, what? Oh, no. I know a lot of other characters basically got duped in. Like, I know, like, Blur didn't win the race, but it was Chromia. Like, the uh, Icon Speed 5000, like, speak up. That's also criminal. That's like another video in its like entirety. That was that was criminal. Like I'm all good for like Chromia and stuff like that. Like pro blur not winning it. Didn't blur place like 300 something or something. That's foul, bro. That is actually criminal. But yeah, I mean that's me. Peace.